It's been described as the most delicious race ever sold. <laughs> right there. <laughs> and joining us in the kitchen to tell us all about it is a fit foodie culinary headliner, Chef Rainy Marquis. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. How you doing? Very good. Very good. It's great to be here. This is a great event. This is the only event that you can actually burn your calories so you can eat them at the end. <laughs> My kind of event. <laughs> and exciting for Tampa. This is new for Tampa to do something like this of this uh, scale. This is. This is three days of um, fit food and fun. And uh, I think that the creation that I've made for this is going to hit home for a lot of the runners. So the race is this weekend again, three days, right? So yes, the race, the race is isn't three days, but the event is three days. <laughs> well, you could make the race three yeah. days if you're not very quick. <laughs> um, the race is on Saturday, September 17th at Coton Chobe Park, and uh, there's a 5K, a 15K. It's good for walkers, it's good for strollers, it's good for dogs. Uh, it's open to everybody. And basically, this event is the first time in Tampa, sponsored by John Hancock and the new Vitality program. They're selling insurance, Vitality Insurance. And for those of you who don't know about it, basically you're getting paid to eat good food, go to the doctor, and exercise. Again, sold. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty amazing thing. <laughs> well, let's talk about the salad you're making this morning. Okay, so this is a fresh salad with all local fresh ingredients. Uh, it's a superfood salad. I called it the 15K because of the ingredients that are going into it. Um, but basically, it's a really simple basil vinaigrette along with beets, uh, red rice, uh, Himalayan red rice, some endamame. So there's carbohydrates, there's proteins, there's a lot of amino acids, um, and then we're just using some ingredients that we may have around the house. I'd like to start by making our dressing. Um, if you wouldn't mind helping me. All right, so in sure there, thing. In there, we have a little bit of uh, orange blossom honey. It's gonna mm. be the sweetener for our salad dressing. Oh. And then we're just gonna add some fresh chopped ginger. All right. Some fresh chopped garlic. You like Ooh, a lot that's of garlic. A lot of garlic. Uh, but th that's okay. You have to understand. This is one of those salads where it'll be better marinated. Oh, okay. And All once right. it has time to marinate, it's going to taste great. Some fresh lemon zest. Okay. Some fresh start lemon juice. Or yes, ma'am. You okay. can start All right. mixing. And then I've have. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my military <laughs> history coming back out. Um, we're going to add some salt and some pepper. And the great thing about this is you can change the dressing by adding different ingredients or different herbs. I've used to choose, I've chose to add uh, fresh chopped basil. So we're just gonna put the basil in there. And then once this is dressed, uh, if you wanted to use balsamic vinegar, uh, it would be nice, but I use the apple cider vinegar because of the characteristics and it helps in the hydration process. Oh. A lot of people don't know that athletes, professional athletes, eat a lot of pickle, drink a lot of pickle juice and drink a lot of vinegar because it's good. I for, have heard that. I was wondering if that was true, it if is there's a actually truth behind it. Yes, All right. It is true. All right. Meanwhile, she's mixing this up. I'd like to start uh, with our salad. And, which um, this isn't just a salad. This is a salad on steroids, chef. This is really a salad you could use as a meal, you could use as a starter and you can use as an appetizer Ooh. but the intent for this for me was these runners are going to be coming back from a 15k and they're going to be celebrated by lots of tremendous food but this is a type of salad that you can actually eat a lot of and feel good about it uh, it's got that very simple vinaigrette the first ingredient we're going to add is the red rice um, you can use any type of rice you want. I'm really using this rice as part of the carbohydrates. I've got some fresh corn actually came off the cob. If you don't have fresh corn, you could use frozen corn. So we're adding some soy protein. You know, we got some I soybeans and edamame. edamame. Yeah. Little carbohydrates for the beans. If you don't use black beans, you could use whatever bean you wanted to use. And again, this is good for the carbohydrates. My favorite vegetable. Hey, hey mine beans. too, mine too. Um, you can just dice them up and you can see all of these items are very easily to cut up ahead of time and then you can just assemble the That's salad. That's the trick because you don't want to be making a salad last minute. Go ahead and Correct. cut up everything, maybe keep it in the fridge for a little while. Yes, so this stays. So it's one of those things that you can make up the night before and then have the next day. If you're looking for a salad that doesn't need refrigeration that you want to take to the beach, this is it. Okay. And you're I'm saying sold. part of that is the kale that you're getting ready to put in. Well, right? that's part of the superfoods that we're assembling here. We're basically putting all these great ingredients to together and this doesn't look like a lot, but I have packed it in there and watch well, when I take Take it out. Time, chef, so okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm speeding it up. Speedy, speedy, like the race. You gotta win. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you cross the finish line as long as you cross the finish line. And one of the things I will say while he's uh, putting the finishing touches that we want to point out, the thing, the motto maybe, would you say, a calorie burned is a calorie, calorie earned. Burned. Yes, ma'am. That's something for us to all keep in mind right here. Oh, wow, looks great. That does. And look at all that color in there. You know it's good. And again, once this marinates, the taste will be extraordinary. 
Well, I know hundreds already signed up for this event. Can you still sign up? Yes, you can still sign up at FitFoodie. Um, fun.com mm -hmm. and you can actually sign up on site on Friday or Saturday. All right. So we're just going to take the salad and again you could put it in a portion cup. I think the most important part of this for you ladies today is to taste the goodness. Yes, I okay. can't wait. Well, I like Chef, it. thank you so much for being You're here welcome. this morning. Good luck with the event again. First one, but we know there's going to be more to come because people Absolutely. are loving it already. Mm. Mm.